Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. This is the weekly landscape walk around video that I am uh, doing during this uh, growing season. I got lots of things uh, in the ground uh, over the past week. If you can go back and watch those videos of me uh, planting uh, lots and lots of pollinator friendly annuals and perennials, plus I've put some stones in and uh, some other things, uh, other projects going on here uh, in the landscape and uh, making pretty good progress on it. Uh, hopefully this next week will be a, a big jump as well. I think it looks uh, looks pretty good out here. And uh, again, it's coming along pretty quick. Uh, a lot of you probably clicked on this because it's going to say something about giveaway in the um, in the title of the video. And I have three $75 gift cards from uh, plantsbymail.com to uh, give away. And I'll let you know how to go about winning those at the uh, end of the video. I'll start over here on the north side of the driveway. Got rid of most of the uh, bricks uh, this week. Uh, this fence is... Uh, you know, it's not much, it's three little sections, but it replaces a weird uh, brick fence that was in a spot and uh, it looks a hundred times, uh, it looks a hundred times better. Plus that little gap between those two uh, allow the water to drain off the driveway. And there was a brick wall blocking the uh, drainage for the driveway. Still lots more work to do here, getting up these cinder blocks and, uh, and bricks, but uh, another week and uh, hopefully that job will be wrapped up. I got the rest of the boulders uh, put in place from that pallet. The biggest ones were down at the bottom, so um, I'll show you those uh, during this quick walk around. Pansies looking, um, still looking great. Snapdragons really kind of peak uh, at this point. I'll show you a couple of shrub things here uh, this week. Uh, these are uh, clethra that I put in in the fall. Sometimes shrubs will do this, especially the first year. They're planted, all three the same variety. This one right here leafed out. I don't know, two weeks before the other two, maybe more than that even. And uh, it's budded up, ready to bloom. And it's only May, and these are typically not, not until the summer uh, will you see um, flowers or flower buds on them. But I've got one that's just acting completely different than the other two. Again, when you, new, things are newly planted like that, uh, sometimes they don't, uh, they don't all perform the exact same way the first year. These uh, Leanne Clayera, uh, that were placed in this spot. I mean, one of the things about the type of landscaping that I'm doing on this little two-tenths of an acre lot is I've got a lot of ones of things, and, and I, I get lots of comments about, you know, you need to have three and you need to have five and blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't really care, uh, <laughs> to be honest with you, uh, because I am a plant collector and I want lots of different varieties. But there are places out here where I have decided, uh, you know, with the, cl the clethra I just showed you, there's three of um, the... Uh, uh, Radiance abelia that are in the front yard. There are three of, and there are five of these Leanne Clayera. These Leanne Clayera are beautiful. Really, this plant will get large enough to become a screening plant, but I'm going to keep them as uh, just um, small, intentional uh, balls, basically, out here in this uh, front yard landscape for the next, you know, whatever amount of years that I can keep them that size and have them continue to look good. But that new growth coming out on them is that orangey red color and uh, uh, does that all season long, but great plants. But I do have places out here where I have intentionally, you know, done the three, five, seven thing, you know, that everybody tells you is the, uh, is the way to go. I don't really listen to other people tell me how to, uh, landscape. And I suggest that you guys don't either. If you like that style, then go for it. If you like one of everything and you're a plant collector, get one of everything and, uh, enjoy what you have. Uh, these, uh, these uh, multicolored um, snapdragons or the mixed snapdragons are just wild. Honestly, it's just totally wild colors. I don't even know if it shows up on this camera very well how, how crazy that actually is. Um, somebody wanted an update last week on the uh, service berry that I planted in the front yard in the fall. Here it is. It's got some suckers down at the bottom and I'm shooting a pruning video next week. This would take like five seconds to clean off or you know, 10 seconds, literally, I could cut those off. But I haven't cut them off because I'm going to do a video on pruning next week and show you guys lots of different things to look for for pruning this time of year as, as your plants are waking up. And so that'll be on there, but those suckers need to uh, come off. Other than that, it's in pretty good shape. I will go through uh, in that pruning video, there's a couple of limbs that head back in uh, toward the middle of the plant. Uh, and those um, I will take off in that video, but it's like one or two little cuts. It's such a small tree. Not gonna do a tremendous amount of growing. I'm trying to back up while I, <laughs> while I talk, sorry guys. Um, back down a three foot drop off, but it's looking good. Uh, 
Not again, not going to grow a whole crazy amount this first year. A couple pruning cuts is all it needs. Uh, let's head around, head around this way. These stones are going to come out this week before you guys see this again. These these will be gone, and I'm going to have some. Uh, go ahead and start putting the stepping stones in here where I'm standing are going to be steps. Uh, but this upper part here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, and get this looking like it's ultimately going to look. Oh, uh, this is a plectranthus that I'll be planting in the next few days. This is Mona purple. Uh, this thing will flower all summer long, nonstop, great for hummingbirds. You may not be able to find this Mona purple because it's a brand new variety, uh, but there is a, 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 there are other ones in this, in this series of plants and there's other plectranthus. A plectranthus should be high on your list for getting pollinators, especially hummingbirds, uh, into your garden. That'll go in in the next few days. I have already gotten the annuals that I'm going to use, a similar mix to what I did uh, last summer, are going to go in the place of these uh, pansies and snapdragons here in the uh, next couple of weeks. I know that makes <laughs> it's kind of strange to imagine that those will just get pulled out, but uh, they're already, I can already see the stress on them from the heat we're having and uh, many, many more hot days to come. Uh, popping over here to the other side, uh, I've got plants you know, plants and flats everywhere for things that are going in. I've put up, I think, four videos already showing some of the different things that are going in the ground if you want to go back for the last week and a half and uh, take a look at those. This wild winter, uh, winter Daphne uh, that I put in this container is just absolutely amazing. And this uh, kind of pale yellow uh, pansy that's in here with it it's just a great combo. I've got to find something that's a similar color for a summer annual uh, to go in that container. But I just, I really love that plant. Uh, Daphne make good container plants because I can really control the drainage. I've got that, uh, that expanded slate um, rock uh, as the base to make sure that that thing stays, uh, it, do it doesn't stay too wet. Uh, swinging around here, I think this corner I'm really, I really, really like. It was so discombobulated just just a month or two ago uh, from the things I had just placed in here onesie twosie and uh, now it's all kind of come together and uh, especially with the uh, purple smoke bush waking up uh, in the background the three camellias uh, look great uh, in this area these pansies will be out soon and um, other annuals will go along uh, the edge of this bed so this week was all about the uh, backyard uh, lots and lots of uh, annuals and perennials have been pla planted back here this week and uh, all the boulders that were coming to the backyard are uh, in as well and I've just put them along the edges of, of paths and I've with intent uh, put them on corners uh, where the water hose can be drug around the corner without hurting uh, the plant beds. Uh, one more time on this uh, tree form. Encore azalea. Last week I said it was kind of peak bloom. That was not the case. Now it is absolutely peak, peak flower. Again, this thing's got suckering going down on and up, down at the bottom as well that will be pruned off during that uh, pruning video. Another uh, 10 second, another 10 second task. Uh, this big Laura Petalum, this Carolina Midnight Laura Petalum, really needs some pruning. It's kind of splayed out all over the place. And I'll show you on this one. I'll be pruning it so that it uh, keeps this kind of loose form but I'm going to bring the size down uh, quite a bit. So I'll show you that technique versus, you know, formal pruning something um, and then other things to look for on your trees to prune in a video, like I said, next week. Uh, what else is happening uh, back here? I've got this variegated uh, Nandina and I put it, when I put it in last year, it didn't do a whole lot, but that new growth coming on it now, you can see the variegation uh, in it. Um, really, it's quite striking. Uh, I, like, I love it in that spot. It turns uh, red in the uh, winter time, just like firepower does. But during the uh, season, it has that variegated uh, new growth on it. Uh, another boulder that was placed uh, into the uh, bed in that area. Again, there's just stuff everywhere that's going in the ground. So uh, those plants are for going around the greenhouse uh, in the back. Uh, lots of uh, annuals and perennials went in. Uh, this bed right here is really has really come together quite a bit uh, this week. And uh, it's gonna be really, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this the, uh, the clown college area of my yard, I think in a few weeks, the colors are gonna be just kind of wild here. I think even already, it's probably pretty colorful and, you know, on the camera, but uh, give this uh, two or three weeks 
and it's just going to be uh, wild. I can see that my butterfly weed back here is already trying to uh, flower uh, right there. You can see a flower bud on top of the butterfly weed. These are butterfly weed. This is butterfly weed that I did from seed uh, last year. And I'm trying not to step on other things I just planted. There's one right there. Some out by the fence in the front yard as well. Uh, here's another thing uh, that needs pruning. I need to limb up uh, this weeping. Uh, the weeping red bud uh, needs to be uh, needs to be limbed up. I'm trying to step back out of this bed. Uh, it's got some limbs growing right down to the base of it. Again, that'll be in that uh, that pruning video. Uh, let's see what else. Um, stone was put in here, and then here's another one of these intentional stones. It has a little gap underneath it for the uh, water hose to slide under. This little stack here is for the exact same thing. The uh, hose will slide, you know, right under that spot. Uh, dianthus here now are just peak, uh, looking great. I got this uh, spot here also for the water hose to slide under, and I put a, uh, I mean, actually planted uh, into it with a euphorbia. Uh, the dahlias that came back, the ones that if you do live in an area where they'll come back uh, on their own, uh, you know, they don't have to be dug up and they're perennial, you can see how vigorous they actually come up and come out of the ground. Those are already, gosh, um, near, nearing two feet tall. Uh, all the ones that I put in the ground in a video uh, last week are uh, settled in. I haven't, haven't done much growing yet. Vegetable garden is just fantastic. Um, all of the cool season vegetables are, are pretty much perfect. And uh, you know, I don't claim to know anything that uh, no one else knows. These are just cool season vegetables I did from seed and planted in compost. Uh, that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much my formula. Uh, no, no, no secret there. Um, the dahlias here are all settled in. This is going to be a crazy, crazy colorful area with dahlias all the way around this uh, vegetable garden. Uh, this will be a month or so for these though. These will these will take a little while to really get going. Some of these other annual things that I put in over here this week, uh, they will just take off. You know, really, really quickly. It won't take them long at all to uh to jump up uh one other question from the uh the video from uh last week and you can see all the uh lots more uh things and cell trays i have to plant uh another boulder that i put in place this week one other question was on this tree form hydrangea paniculata that i planted um with the intent of tree forming uh this these side branches uh right here they're going to be cut to the ground in that pruning video I left them on intentionally. Uh, I planted it where I could get my the branch that I wanted to be staked. Um, is, I think you can see that. Let me try to get a little more in the frame there. Um, uh, so, so you can see I've got it staked perfect. Um, new growth came out on the top of where I had it staked. I left this growth on the side just when I planted it, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna clean all that up uh, in the pruning video this week. So you can see how this, this will already start looking like a, <laughs> sorry, I fell. Uh, this will already start looking like a tree form. Uh, within the next two or three days. I think you can see that uh, from this angle. I got lots and lots of plants behind it that are that are still need to uh, go in the ground. They need to go in the ground soon because I'm tripping over everything right now in these um, when I'm doing video work. And uh, uh, potatoes continue to come along. Actually, the reason I walked around back here though is I wanted to show I've got broccoli uh, forming right down there in the center. I hope you can see see that I'll move that leaf right there out of the way so I finally have broccoli coming so I think I am going to get a good harvest of broccoli out of here in a couple weeks from now my kohlrabi is almost you know almost overgrown uh in there I've been giving giving that away I can't eat much of that I mean it's, it's okay I'm, I don't dislike kohlrabi but um, when you grow that many uh I can't eat that many of them so all right, guys. Well, um, here are the uh, instructions on how to go about winning the uh, plantsbymail.com gift card. So I'm going to give two of these gift cards away right here on YouTube. Just make a comment down below this video for a chance to win, and I'll draw two names from those comments uh, in next week's walk around video. Uh, the other uh, gift card, the third uh, gift card, I'm going to give away on an Instagram post today. So if you put, um, there'll be some sort of a, a plantsbymail.com uh, Instagram post on HortTube over on Instagram. Uh, just make a comment below that photo today and that'll be your uh, chance to win that third $75 gift card. Again, uh, next, uh, probably Tuesday, Wednesday-ish, something like that. I'll put this uh, video up and announce the winners. 
Thank you guys for following along with the channel, and I uh, hope I have uh, lots of progress between now and the time you see next week's video. Thanks for watching.